Hi, my name is Manish Modi, and I'm going to be talking to you today about analytics-driven manufacturing. And along with me, I have Venkat as well as Arvindan, who are going to be speaking with me. I have this safe harbor statement here. Most of what I'm going to talk about today is about products and capabilities that are available today. But I may touch on some of the future functionality, and therefore it's important for me to have you read this safe harbor statement. So the way we have it scheduled for today is to spend a few minutes talking about why analytics-driven manufacturing is so important for your business, and then have Venkat and Aravindan talk to you all about what Oracle has to offer from a product perspective as well as a solution perspective to help you give the competitive edge you need with analytics-driven manufacturing. This slide talks about a quote from an IDC publication that's very appropriate for the times. It talks about the intelligent economy and how in this intelligent economy, it is very important for the employees within the company to be empowered with the necessary information that they need to be able to react to changes quickly to gain the competitive edge that they need in today's marketplace. And I want to talk a little bit more about the modern manufacturing and the key things that are important to companies today. Profitable operations, absolutely important. You want to make sure that your top line is growing and at the same time, you can reduce costs and improve your margins and stay competitive. The transformative insight, which is availability of the right information to the right people at the right time so that they can take more informed decisions to ensure that your operations are running at the most optimal way possible and that you have all the information that you need to have a continuous improvement program in place. Ensure quality. Quality is extremely important. In fact, Toyota and GM come to mind when we talk about quality. Both of them had quality snafus that they were aware of within the silos of their company, but not all the right people had access to the correct information to be able to take corrective action. And it resulted in a quality incident that was so public and marred their reputation. Similarly, information can help you run a collaborative network where you are not only informed, but the information you have can be used to keep your suppliers and customers informed, whether it's delays or whether it's expedites that you need to do. And therefore, you'll see that information is the key to having not only your own manufacturing operations run efficiently, but to ensure that the entire supply chain runs efficiently. So this study here by KPMG asked the manufacturers, what are the biggest challenges that they face? And no surprise here, you'll see that lack of information was the number one challenge that was pointed out by these customers. I'm sure you'll also appreciate the other challenges that you see on the screen. But today, we're going to hone in on the lack of information challenge and what Oracle can do and why it is so important for you to have the necessary information to overcome this hurdle. Visibility. It's all about visibility. There is an Accenture study that talks about the amount of time a manager at a company spends in a day just to gather the information, searching for the information. Two hours a day, that's a lot of time. And more interestingly, what is the quality of the information that they find? Less than 50% of the information they find is useful. And out of that, they spend additional time trying to figure out which of the information is relevant. And most shocking, 42% of the times, they may be making the wrong decision because the data that they're basing the decision on is not accurate or is not timely. 
So I'm going to talk about now the visibility challenges that these companies face and the improvement priorities that these companies have. You'll notice that the challenges I've listed here are challenges that you will recognize as big data challenges. Today, there is a large volume of data. Secondly, the velocity of data is very high. Third, there's a variety of sources of the data that you've got to have access to. The veracity of the data, you want to make sure that you have the most timely data because the immediate past is the most accurate, but you also want access to historic data. And you want to be able to access this data anywhere. So if then an incident happens and you happen to be out of the office, you've got to be able to use your mobile device to look at the information and also be able to take corrective action directly from your mobile device. And therefore, the last bullet point, most important, the information has to be actionable. So if the information came to be you, with possible actions you can take to correct any situation that you need to, that would be even more compelling and powerful. So those are the challenges. And from a priority perspective, right, AIT department or the you know, users themselves want to ensure that the data acquisition consolidation is done on a regular basis and done accurately. The data is contextualized. So if you're seeing a shortage, you want to be able to know in the context of which work orders and end assemblies is the shortage and how it's going to affect the end products that you're making. Similarly, you want near with real time information to what's going on in the shop floor, along with information that may be historic that you would use to come up with trends and see how we can improve those trends. You want automated ways of correlating the manufacturing data and the process data. And of course, last but not the least, you want to be able to get gather equipment data so you can improve the reliability of your assets, you can improve the utilization of your assets, the overall equipment effectiveness, and other asset performance metrics, especially in industries that are asset in intensive and the assets are expensive. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Venkat to talk to us about what Oracle brings to you from a product and solutions perspective to help you gain the insight and the information that you need to be able to make better decisions and stay competitive in today's marketplace. Venkat. Thank you, Manish. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Venkat Visveswaran. I'm a product management director for a business suite discrete manufacturing applications. Oracle provides number of uh, targeted apps to support the visibility around the manufacturing shop floor operations. Oracle applications provide transformative insight that turns factory workers into knowledge workers by providing access to information and insights. This is achieved through mobility, real-time data discovery, and real-time intelligence to get the shop floor information out for the knowledge workers. And we have a number of uh, applications that comes from Oracle uh, that supports this process of uh, getting visibility into your manufacturing operations. We have uh, the applications that you see on the screen where you have a manufacturing execution systems from Oracle eBusiness Suite. We have smartphone applications. We have eBusiness Suite Endeka extensions. We have manufacturing operations center and manufacturing analytic applications. Let's look at each one of them. First, let's look at manufacturing execution systems for discrete manufacturing and process manufacturing. We have the manufacturing execution system provides the ability for the shop floor operators and the supervisors to 
manage the entire production operations. The solution supports both the discrete and process manufacturing. And from the roles perspective, operators are able to manage a dispatch list that they need to work on, record the transactions, issue parts for their work, and view the instructions from the uh, work center, and uh, report all their times and you know, report all exceptions that if they encounter in executing those operations. They can perform clock in, clock out, and uh, the supervisors will have the visibility to look at those clock in information, resolve the exceptions, and make the shop floor progress um, to achieve the manufacturing targets. So the solution that we have currently available supports many number of enhancements that has been performed in the recent releases uh, with the new business suite. Uh, specifically around the discrete manufacturing execution system, uh, we have enhanced it to support more serialized assembly specific screens that makes it uh, very efficient for the operators to transact components and view the uh, attachment instructions side by side on a different tabs on the screen and also from a ability to perform transactions uh, to dekit which is basically disassembling the assembly operation to put away the parts. So we have made these number of enhancements that provides visibility into shop floor operations and increased productivity. Oracle eBusiness Suite has released a number of uh, mobile applications uh, very recently supporting uh, various targeted uh, user roles and specific functions. One of the key applications around the manufacturing is around the discrete and process manufacturing supervisors um, supporting applications. These uh, applications are currently available from the App Store, Apple App Store. This application is very conveniently can be uh, downloaded f in the smartphone and supervisors can take monitor um, and take actions on the go. Uh, if you look at the screens here, supervisors can very quickly look at the work orders in different categories and you know, look at the specific work order and take actions very quickly. They can uh, perform actions that are uh, of uh, extreme importance from a timeline perspective for somebody needing information, somebody taking a decision, somebody really requiring the actual insight into what is happening in the shop floor right now from a real, real time perspective. We have uh, a similar capability, a similar application for the process manufacturing production supervisor. The applications basically provide a list of work orders or list of batches in this case and you can drill down and look at the batch detail as to what is happening in terms of the current status of the uh, process uh, manufacturing batch and take actions like completing the batch or you know uh, terminating the batch or uh, you know performing some of the release operations of the batch this is a complete list of uh, smartphone apps that we have across board in a business suite. And these applications provide uh, information on the hand for the user. And as you can see, we have discrete production supervisor, process production supervisor, project manufacturing, product information applications. And along with that, there are a number of other applications around inventory, sales orders, procurement, field service, maintenance, and so on. We also have horizontal applications that are like approvals and time cards uh, that uh, allows uh, many users in the enterprise to perform certain actions uh, on the go. These applications are um, available on uh, both Apple iOS based uh, um, smartphones as well as we are targeting to release uh, Android uh, 
based uh, apps for uh, in, in the Google Play uh, store. We are planning to release these apps uh, in, in the near term as well. So th that means uh, we are actually building these applications for, um, you know, based on one user experience pattern and we are making it available on multiple devices. So the user experiences, uh, uh, we are expecting it to be kind of consistent whether the user is using Apple devices, uh, Apple smartphones versus uh, Android based smartphones. And uh, we are also making this application available for uh, our uh, eBusiness Suite 1213 uh, release customers as well as for 12.2 based release customers. The other thing to note in this is that these applications are um, available uh, for free download as long as you have the base application, um, you have licensed it. For example, the discrete production supervisor that I mentioned is um, available for free for our customers who already use discrete manufacturing or discrete manufacturing execution systems. The discrete manufacturing app supports um, both the functionality around the work in process application within the eBusiness Suite and also um, other functionality that are coming from manufacturing execution system for discrete manufacturing, which is an optional product on top of the base discrete manufacturing. So uh, depending on the level of uh, implementation that you have, the smartphone app also would be able to support uh, some of those key uh, functionality um, in the application uh, that that you have on your hand. We are we have, we have taken some key uh, functional flows to support this uh, production supervisor role. So uh, it's not the entire application that you have on the desktop is uh, available on the phone, but we are looking at to provide those key functionality that is most important when the user is on the go and something needs to be done right away to make the things progress. So uh, this is uh, something we are pretty excited about uh, releasing, aligning with uh, all the modern technology and making the user experience, taking it to uh, a next level for our customers. I'm also going to um, do a demo so you can see how uh, the district production supervisor uh, provides some great visibility for the shop floor supervisors um, who are um, you know often moving between the different work centers talking to op operators or you know trying to attend the meetings the production status meetings and so on and able to provide the up to date information right from their uh, smartphone um, so uh, let's look at a demo of the discrete production supro supervisor So for the purpose of this demo, I am a shop floor supervisor in a high-tech manufacturing company. And I have downloaded this uh, discrete production supervisor app from the App Store. And my administrator has configured the app uh, to connect with the eBusiness Suite. Now I click on the launch icon, and I get a login screen. The login screen allows me to enter the same username password that I use my used to connect the eBusiness Suite. So I enter uh, the login password and I get to the first screen here. The moment I come here, I can see the work orders in various categories uh, nicely listed. I can get a clear visual of how many work orders starting today, finishing today, how many on track and delayed and so on. And I can see the work orders with the exceptions. Now I clicked on the delayed work order tab, uh, the tile, and I can get into see the list of work orders that are delayed. I can take some quick actions by swiping left, and uh, I can expedite the work order or put on hold, depending on the case. I click confirm, and I get a message that the work order has been expedited in this case. It's pretty powerful. I mean, imagine so quickly that you can take actions. Um, you don't need to go through many screens. Now, another example here, I have work orders which are on hold. And I got a confirmation a notification that an exception that was causing the hold has been um, removed. So now I want to make sure that the hold has been released for the work order so that the operators can progress with the uh, completion of the work. I need to go and release a work order. I swipe left, and I can see that the 
action shown here in this case is automatically context sensitive change to show to release or unrelease depending on the case. So now I release the work order and I can see that uh, it is uh, ready to progress. Um, here is another example where I want to search for uh, all the work orders which are for a particular product line. In this case, it's a XR5000 assemblies uh, which are our deluxe laptop that we are manufacturing. And I can see a list of work orders that are being worked on in, 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 no, uh, in very short time that you can see that list here. And I can see the work orders on track. There are some on ha having some problems here. And I want to look at specifically the one which I've got uh, operation delay. And this seems to be for the Department of Defense customer, which is an important one for us to make sure that we deliver the uh, uh, work orders on time so that the shipment can be taken place uh, on time. I can see the work order detail. Um, the moment I clicked on the work order from the list, I can look at the most important issue causing the uh, work order delays. There are a couple of exceptions. I can also see that the work order key attributes like the customer, uh, I can see the work order, uh, uh, the customer reference information like the sales orders and uh, ship dates. I can scroll here. Uh, you know, on the phone, I can see more information, how many quantity has been completed. In this case, nothing has been completed and work is still in progress. And I can look at the current operation. Uh, when I click on the current operation, I can see the operation specific detail. Uh, in this case, uh, Jonathan Smith has clogged into the job. There are a uh, couple of exceptions that are open. Perhaps this is causing the delay. Uh, imagine the power of uh, when the shop floor supervisor going around and having access to so much of information very quickly with uh, just a couple of clicks here and there. And I can look at the exception detail for this case. Uh, I can see the notes which are there. I can add notes on the go. We all do that all the time, uh, sending emails and responding to some text. And uh, I can look at um, information uh, as to what is the exception reason and uh, which department it is um, having the issue and so on. When the exemptions are completed, I can see a check mark to show that it is completed as well. Uh, let's go back to the work order now and then see other information about this work order. For example, I can see all the list of operations um, that are uh, associated with this work order. And uh, I can see this work order uh, operation information, which have got more details around how many are in queue, how many are uh, currently running and so on, I can easily change the position of the phone into a landscape mode and I can see more information very quickly. You may, all the need is uh, just uh, that information that is shown in the list view to take action or you can click drill into the detail and take action. We have also very tightly integrated with the contact cards within the phone as well as with the enterprise data. So the information that is presented is you can call the person in this case. For example, there was an issue with the resource. I need to call the planner to reschedule the job. I can um, you know, click on the button to get the phone numbers. And in context, I can take the action. Another example here is I can click on the action sheet and then click to expedite this work order so that um, you know, the order is completed on time. And uh, in, you know, we, we deliver the work order uh, in time. That completes the demo. Now let's look at the next uh, interesting solution from Oracle A Business Suite. Uh, as many of you might have known by now, we released multiple Endeka based extensions for A Business Suite in the recent past. This is something that uh, we have uh, done significantly in the last couple of years to roll out uh, various extensions that are targeted for uh, our business users. Today, we'll talk about the manufacturing extensions for Endeka that uh, provides the visibility into the shop floor operations. Endeka is a fascinating data discovery product that we had, uh, Oracle had bought a couple of years back. And from the time, um, you know, the day one, we went about to look at how we can take advantage of this uh, fascinating product 
to bring the experience of the online shopping that you would see in walmart.com or homedepot.com to our enterprise users. So this is a very interesting project that we had done uh, with uh, taking advantage of the Endeka's key ca capabilities uh, around the user experience. We can see um, Endeka provides uh, some uh, beautiful charting and uh, other visualizations uh, uh, like tag clouds and uh, metrics bar and so on. It also provides some Google-like search capability where you can really explore the manufacturing data uh, and really get insight into the, um, the data set that you are viewing. In this case, it's a manufacturing um, work order data and uh, in case of uh, discrete manufacturing, we'll talk about that uh, in detail. Um, if you see how we have uh, gone about to take advantage of this capability of Endeka's uh, data discovery is that we looked at what are all the information that we can bring and assemble them together around uh, um, discrete manufacturing work order in this example uh, to bring the visualization of all relevant data for the production supervisor or managers who need to very closely look at what is going on in the shop floor near real time. This, is, uh, uh, this particular type of data discovery is uh, very different than a traditional BI applications that you would uh, see uh, a, for, for the manufacturing data or for that matter any enterprise data. The Endeka solutions provide uh, uh, capabilities to refresh the data from the e-business suite um, very uh, near real time where the informations are assembled uh, and presented uh, in a more dynamic form uh, interacting with the, um, with the, the user. Uh, we kind of call this as a conversation of uh, uh, the user with the data like uh, the, the charts and tag loads that uh, are available actually provides a more visuals and they kind of interact with the users. We have taken these capabilities and provided some targeted solution uh, areas. For example, in case of discrete manufacturing, you can manage the shop floor exceptions, you can monitor the shop floor progress, you can manage the outside processing operations as to where the work order is uh, uh, standing in terms of the um, re receiving it back from the suppliers for certain operations. Um, and also looking at the work in process quality aspects of uh, the work order itself, um, whether the, how the, um, the quality in the shop floor currently is going on uh, to see if we are meeting our uh, quality uh, targets in terms of the yield and other compliance uh, um, you know, aspects around the manufacturing. So, what we are saying is um, we have taken the different uh, visualization from the Endeka and built some really powerful user interface to show how the work orders are uh, progressing in the shop floor. Uh, for example, you can see quickly the different uh, metrics around how many work orders are released, how many are on hold. We had seen in the previous demo how in the smartphone we are able to see some pretty quick uh, uh, metric information and drill down into details, we are taking that to a next level. Uh, this is being the real estate being more on the desktop and tablets where you can render this information. We are providing more information to bring that visibility for the uh, supervisors and managers. You can see the tag clouds really quickly giving what is the most important problem that is going on in the shop floor and um, the charts really providing very interactive way to uh, uh, you know, uh, look at the specific uh, portion of the data of interest and make decisions very fast. And remember, uh, all this, every, as every visual in this screen is pretty interactable, uh, meaning users can touch and uh, that uh, touch basically uh, makes the data to get filtered and the rest of the UI completely refreshes with uh, 
uh, the most relevant information. For example, uh, I will um, you know, take a case where if, if the supervisor want to quickly look at uh, um, a particular customer and then see which are the work orders that are being worked on and what is the most important problem that is currently impacting completing that work order. And uh, they can very quickly type in the um, customer name in the search box and with a partial search string, then uh, uh, you know, the system can bring what the user is trying to type in and then really make the user to pick uh, the particular uh, string, what they, the, what they are looking at in this case, uh, a department of defense is a customer that user is trying to type in. And then it, the, the keyword department is being available in uh, different other parts of the data is also provided to the user. So user actually really can um, be guided through what they want to be um, further drilling into look at the details. So this is uh, pretty powerful in terms of uh, how they can uh, look at the data. Uh, there are many other examples that we can talk about. Uh, it can go to the uh, you know um, examples like uh, looking at a particular component and then see which are all the work orders that are impacted by the uh, specific uh, component that's going into an assembly. This is pretty powerful given the amount of visualization that you can see on the screens. Like uh, you take a particular component and see which are the work orders impacted, which customers are impacted, and probably also look at uh, you know how the ship date is going to get impacted if there are any delays in the uh, work in process. Uh, we have the uh, similar capabilities around process manufacturing. We have the, the screens, uh, Endeka screens providing ability to drill down into process manufacturing batch and understand uh, more detail around how the uh, various quality aspects of the um, batches, process uh, batches are uh, being worked on, um, if there are any expiring lots and how that impacts, uh, is going to impact the production and so on can be very e easily visualized. Um, we have extensions that built not only around the discrete and process manufacturing, we also have um, extensions around the uh, cost management where you can uh, really look at the uh, period health check um, in terms of the, uh, the, the, the transaction that is impacting the closure of the uh, you know, uh, work orders and uh, uh, other transaction entities. So basically, you can, uh, you can look at to take actions uh, quickly based on the insight that you get from these uh, dashboards to um, uh, have a great control on your um, quarter uh, period close. You don't need to wait until the end of the quarter to really um, you know, take uh, fixed problems but rather progressively monitor on a periodic uh, daily basis um, to, to take advantage of uh, fixing those issues. We also have uh, extension screens built around uh, supporting the quality aspects of the manufacturing where uh, the Oracle quality module supports ability to collect uh, quality information in terms of the collection plans. So um, we have recently introduced a quality extension where um, users can explore the quality data uh, from the manufacturing process directly. And uh, the quality being um, integrated tightly with other business uh, applications within eBusiness Week like uh, mm, discrete manufacturing, process manufacturing, receiving, asset management, and so on. Uh, the solution kind of brings uh, uh, ability to bring all the data um, from the configured uh, um, you know, collection elements that customers set up in their instance. So this solution is really powerful in terms of uh, bringing that uh, entire data set uh, for the quality into the um, Endeka and provide a visualization for those uh, quality data. Now, um, one might wonder that uh, we have the quality module supports uh, all configurability and all the collection elements are so specific for customers, how is this possible? And that's where actually we really solve the problem of bringing um, the easy, uh, I would say, the, the, the effortless uh, or I would say minimum effort to bring the metadata of the setup into Endeka through uh, an automated way. And um, Endeka being very easy to personalize, all that customers would need to do is to kind of go about to uh, 
readjust some of these charts and tag clouds which are more relevant for based on their con uh, configuration setups. Um, so that's like uh, um, minimal uh, things that customers would do to really personalize and not really need to worry about some of the back end uh, uh, plumbing to bring the data into Endeka for quality modules. For a process uh, manufacturing uh, quality capabilities, we have out of the box dashboards that support uh, viewing test samples and uh, information, quality information around those uh, batches. So that's really powerful solution as part of the process manufacturing extensions as well that we are providing. And uh, um, the last one, which is uh, around the outside uh, um, processing as well as the outsource manufacturing capability uh, is a separate product by itself. It's not an extension, but uh, we, uh, we have this uh, outsource manufacturing as a separate uh, e-business suite product, which has an Endeka content to provide the subcontract order visibility uh, for, for the manufacturing. So as you can see, we have um, you know, number of uh, solutions uh, from the e-business suite extensions around uh, Endeka for the manufacturing focus. We have uh, we have been continuously enhancing these uh, uh, some of these extensions that we rolled out in the past, which are like the discrete manufacturing, process manufacturing, and cost management extensions, and uh, also some of the inventory extensions that we had uh, to provide visibility into the item master. Uh, and we have added significant uh, enhancement in each of these areas in our latest release, uh, which are supported for both uh, 12.1.3 as well as 12.2 e-business suite application release. And uh, uh, the last one that you see on the screen right hand side here is the quality um, extensions for Endeka. That is uh, uh, a separate product that we have uh, launched in our uh, recent release. So that's kind of... Uh, uh, pretty powerful uh, visualizations uh, around um, the shop floor uh, data for uh, our uh, uh, manufacturing users that uh, transform their uh, uh, you know data into a knowledge which on which they can take actions very quickly to improve the shop floor productivity and uh, you know efficiency. With that, uh, I want to turn over to um, Arvindan to talk about the next set of solutions, um, Arvindan. Thank you, Venkat, for providing a great overview of what Oracle has to offer in the area of analytics-driven manufacturing. It was great you covered manufacturing execution system, manufacturing smartphone apps, and manufacturing extensions for Endeka. I'm Arvindan Sankramurthy, and I'm going to talk about two other products that helps customers in their analytics-driven manufacturing initiatives. The first one I'm going to talk about is Manufacturing Operations Center, and the second is Manufacturing Analytics. Manufacturing Operations Center is Oracle's enterprise manufacturing intelligence solution that is targeted for manufacturers who want to get real-time intelligence from their plant operations and also accelerate some of the Lean and Six Sigma initiatives, which forms the foundation for continuous improvement. In addition to real-time intelligence, Manufacturing Operations Center acts as a unified plant data repository and has integration to shop floor systems and equipment to collect information, and also has an event management framework to take proactive actions based on the shop floor events. Here is a pictorial representation of Oracle Manufacturing Operations Center and how it fits in with the rest of the systems that you may have in your shop floor. At the top, we have the ERP systems, which basically provide reference and master data, such as work orders, production schedules, items, products, uh, resource schedules, and so on, which is basically the plan of what you want to build. At the bottom, you have all the shop floor equipment, and in the case of an automated shop floor, you may have PLCs, SCADA systems, uh, human machine interface, and so on, which actually collect the data of what is actually happening on the shop floor and send it to the any consumer uh, that needs that information. In the absence of a automated shop floor, you can also collect this data manually through spreadsheets and send it into MOC. So Manufacturing Operations Center kind of sits between the ERP systems and the shop floor systems 
and tries to bring information together so that you can make actionable decisions. So in the case of Schauffler Equipment Data, we have worked with a few partners, uh, ILS Technology, Matricon, Mitsubishi, and Kepware to build MOC adapters that can translate the information you collect from your Schauffler systems and send it into MOC. Later, what MOC does is it contextualizes this information. So you have a powerful contextualization engine which takes this raw data from your shop flow systems and marries it up with the ERP data and then stores it in the manufacturing operations center data model. It also has an extensible attribute framework so that you can define your own data elements that you would like to collect and also store it in the same MOC data model. In addition, it provides pre-built dashboards uh, for plant managers, production supervisors, and maintenance supervisors with a pre-built set of metrics that allow you to monitor your shop floor progress and take actions proactively. Now I'm going to spend a few minutes on each of those bullet points I talked about earlier. Uh, first on real-time intelligence of plant operations. As I highlighted earlier, uh, there are pre-built dashboards which are built on OBIE, which is Oracle Business Inter Intelligence Enterprise Edition, which is the industry's leading analytics platform. So it has pre-built metrics, KPIs, and dimensions, along with pre-built dashboards that allow customers to get started right away and then customize it or extend it based on specific needs that they may have. So here is an example of one of the KPIs that uh, MOC offers out of the box. It is called Overall Equipment Effectiveness, or OEE for short. So this is a screenshot of a plant manager dashboard where the first step is where the plant manager monitors the overall OEE for the plant and then finds something is wrong and then drills down into bottom performing departments and equipment. OEE is a complex metric because it combines uh, resource or machine availability, quality of the product that is being produced, as well as efficiency in which it is being produced. So as you can see, uh, once you identify the bottom performing department of equipment, you can drill down into each of those individual pieces of equipment to see the three components that make up OEE. And once you identify certain equipment you want to drill down further into, you can then either uh, get into the reasons why a resource or an equipment was not available, um, what are the reasons behind it, what are the reasons for low efficiency, and also uh, what is the trend of the first pass yield or your quality of the product that is being produced. So this metric combines, uh, as I mentioned, three important aspects, availability, efficiency, and quality. And this is a very powerful metric which is monitored by most of the manufacturers and is a kind of ind industry agnostic and gives a, a very good indication of how well your manufacturing operations are. So moving on to the next pre-built dashboard that is available, which is the production supervisor dashboard. The use of this dashboard is for supervisors to monitor what is ha happening on the shop floor in terms of are they meeting their production targets, uh, what is the status of equipment, what is the um, trend in terms of the uh, status of the equipment as well as the output from the equipment so that you can make sure that if something goes wrong, you are able to react quickly and, and take action on it. I talked a lot about equipment because equipment is the center of manufacturing operation center and it basically provides a 360 degree view of your equipment performance and it, it takes into account your availability, the output from the equipment as well as quality and in addition uh, it also has the capability to monitor process parameters, especially for equipment where, you're, uh, uh, where you need to ensure that the pressure, temperature, humidity, and so on of the equipment is maintained so that you get a, a good quality product out. So this uh, information is definitely useful for uh, the production supervisor, the line manager, as well as maintenance supervisor who are interested to make sure the assets or the equipment are in 
uh, good conditions and are uh, performing as expected. So that leads me to talk to you about the asset performance dashboard. This is one of the dashboards that was recently added to Manufacturing Operations Center. And it's again targeted for the maintenance users or the maintenance supervisors for them to monitor all assets irrespective of whether they are production assets or non-production assets so that you have a complete picture of the assets they own and they're able to uh, monitor the status of those assets. In the case of production assets, uh, as I mentioned earlier, there will be production-related metrics such as OEE, the, uh, the, the production performance, and so on. But in the case of a non-production asset, you would be uh, tracking all the events that are happening to that asset, uh, what happened in the last 24 hours to this asset, how long was it up, how long was it down, what were the reasons for it, and also any operation parameters that you may be tracking for the asset so that uh, you, uh, you can make sure that they are within the acceptable tolerances allowed for the equipment performance. So until now, I talked about the uh, real-time intelligence and pre-built dashboards and metrics that are available uh, with MOC. But all of this is not possible without this uh, unique unified plant data repository. The Manufacturing Operations Center data model is built on the industry accepted S95 standard. But in addition to that, it provides a wide range of granularity in terms of data, right from the enterprise level to the plant level, down to the equipment, and down to the individual device, or a PLC level, where you get raw data in terms of tags. It also has out-of-the-box hierarchical dimensions for uh, time, product, and equipment. And it's definitely flexible and configurable so that you can capture more data than what is available as uh, uh, standard uh, data elements within the MOC data model. As I highlighted in one of the earlier slides, it has the uh, extensible attribute framework so that you can capture process variables uh, that are important for your company. Uh, since we cannot model all the possible attributes that are relevant for manufacturing industries, this extensible attribute framework definitely provides a mechanism for you to uh, define your own data elements and process variables that are important for your business. The third aspect is the integration to shop floor systems and equipment. Uh, without all this data coming in from your shop floor systems, you really cannot make uh, too much sense of what you need to do. So uh, as I highlighted earlier, we worked with a few partners who have built MOC adapters that bring in this data from uh, PLCs or SCADA systems and transforms them using pre-built rules, uh, as well as you can create your own uh, rules before it pushes the data into Manufacturing Operations Center. Once the data comes into Manufacturing Operations Center, this is where the con contextualization engine kicks in, where it allows you to contextualize the raw data and add business context to it. As an example, if you're getting raw data through tags, it, all it has is a, an, a tag identifier, a value for the tag, and a timestamp, which by itself does not make a lot of sense. But once it is married up with the business context of the work order, the equipment, or the product that is being produced, then you have a more complete uh, set of data that you can use to see uh, how you're doing well on your uh, manufacturing performance. So uh, Manufacturing Operations Center provides uh, three types of uh, contextualization. One is tag-based contextualization, second is schedule-based contextualization, and third is uh, uh, manual uh, contextualization. So this uh, contextualization engine is a very powerful component of MOC, which actually brings together the shop floor data and your ERP or transaction system data together. Uh, last but not least is the event management framework. So this uh, component is uh, actually used for proactive monitoring of your shop floor and also taking actions. All the data collection is not useful until you can act upon it quickly and effectively so that any anomalies you find on the shop floor are curtailed. So uh, some of these events can be uh, an equipment being down or a process parameter or the production equipment parameter being out of tolerance or you have high scrap or reject on your production line and so on. So uh, the event management framework provides a, uh, 
rules and conditions uh, framework where you can actually define your rules and then uh, trigger certain actions to be taken. So as an example, uh, if a mission goes down, you can have text messages uh, being, s be being sent to the production supervisor or you can have email notifications to a particular set of manufacturing users so that they are alerted about uh, equipment being down or a high scrap percentage and so on. In addition, uh, in the case of equipment specifically where you have a downtime or you have an idle time uh, which was uh, more than what your acceptable threshold is, you can automatically create a maintenance work request in Oracle's enterprise asset management module. So this will allow you to uh, have the maintenance technician uh, go to the asset or the equipment and find out what's wrong or what's the reason for the downtime. Since these out-of-the-box actions may not fulfill the needs of all the uh, uh, possible uh, conditions or events that can happen in the shop floor, uh, the framework is extensible where customers can actually plug in their own logic on what actions they want to take or what type of events they want to monitor so that they can be more proactive in addressing the uh, discrepancies or anomalies on the shop floor. So till now, uh, I talked about Manufacturing Operations Center and just to recap uh, in summary, it is a Oracle's enterprise manufacturing intelligence solution uh, that supports real-time intelligence of shop floor operations, has a unified plant data repository so that it can marry up the uh, shop floor data as well as your ERP and transaction data. Third, it is integrated with shop floor systems and equipment with uh, partner solutions that have been provided. And last but not least, it has the event management framework that allows you to take more proactive actions based on what's happening on the shop floor. So next, I'm going to talk about manufacturing analytics. So manufacturing analytics is part of the Oracle Business Intelligence Application Suite, or OBIA, and it is uh, a prepackaged manufacturing analytics with uh, pre-built KPIs and pre-built dashboards available. And it also works with the other supply chain analytics, order management analytics, and procurement and spend analytics solutions so that you have a complete view of your supply chain operations and on what, is the, uh, what are the historical trends and how, how, you're, how well you're performing. A, a very frequent question that is asked is how is manufacturing analytics different from manufacturing operation center that we just talked about. So manufacturing analytics is more looks back at wha what has happened the last quarter, last month, or last week, and tries to make uh, sense out of it, mo uh, monitor the trends, and take action. Whereas manufacturing operation center is more targeted for real-time monitoring of shop floor operations at a shift level or a day level so that you can quickly react to what is ha actually happening on the shop floor. Manufacturing analytics is also uh, Excelitics and BI Mobile certified, so you can access manufacturing analytics on, on your tablet or any other mobile device as well. Manufacturing analytics tries to answer questions for three different roles. One is the production executive or VP of operations so that that executive has a visibility of all the plans and how well they are executing towards the targets that have been ex established for those plans. Second, the production cost accountant who needs complete visibility uh, so that he can track the uh, manufacturing costs as well as inventory costs that go into building a product. And the third per role or person who's interested in manufacturing analytics is the operations manager, the supervisor, who's monitoring the and controlling the shop floor execution to ensure that there are not too much of uh, VIP inventory buildup, uh, the costs are reasonable, the, the scrap is not high, and so on. So these are the three roles that make the best use of manufacturing analytics. With manufacturing analytics, there are pre-built dashboards that are available. Some of these are uh, listed here. Uh, there are dashboards for the manufacturing executive uh, to also to uh, monitor your production costs and also uh, see how well you're doing for your, in your plan to produce, as well as uh, inventory and production performance. 
So in addition to the pre-built dashboards, there are also pre-built metrics that are available with manufacturing uh, analytics. And it allows you to monitor these metrics uh, for whatever time dimension you want, whether it is uh, for last quarter, last year, last month, and so on, as well as other dimensions such as items or products, uh, work orders, and so on. These metrics are broadly classified into the six categories listed here, uh, starting with manufacturing execution, production costs, work order analysis, plant production, production quality, and inventory. So this is a quick overview of manufacturing analytics and how it complements some of the capabilities uh, that is available as part of Manufacturing Operations Center. So I know Venkat started with this slide uh, when he talked about analytics-driven manufacturing and the Oracle solutions uh, that are available. So as you can see in the bottom here, uh, we covered smartphone manufacturing apps, Endeavor manufacturing extensions, the uh, manufacturing execution systems, as well as manufacturing operations center and manufacturing analytics. Although each of these solutions can bring great benefits to the users or the customers who are making use of these solutions, all of them put together can provide a lot more value and synergy where the whole is greater than some of the parts so that you have a greater visibility and, and so that you can e efficiently run your manufacturing operations. In conclusion, I want to highlight that Oracle is in the business to help you gain visibility into your manufacturing operations as well as support analytics-driven manufacturing initiatives that you might have in your company. This allows you to run your manufacturing operations more efficiently, produce a better quality products, have overall costs that are lower, which in return uh, results in uh, better profitability. Uh, thanks for your time. I hope this was useful, and have a great day.